Why do dead whales explode? This is why it's dangerous to touch a dead whale. Many of us are fascinated by the wonders of sea life. All kinds of creatures beneath the surface, as well as how their ecosystems function, are still being studied. However, every now and then, something washes up on the beach or breaks the surface of the water, causing people to raise an eyebrow and gather to check it out. Exploding whales is one of them. Although it appears to be something out of a movie, whales have washed up on beaches several times over the years. But why is this happening? It turns out that there is a very specific reason for this, and it isn't unique to these mammals. So, today in this video, we are going to highlight the meaning of the explosion of a dead whale, its reason, and the effect on human beings if it is touched. Stick with us till the end, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get notified when we upload this kind of amazing informative video in the coming days. Without any further delay, let's start. What is meant by the explosion of a dead whale? An explosion of a dead whale refers to the process of the whale's decomposition after death. As the whale's body begins to decompose, gases such as methane and hydrogen sulfide are produced and can build up inside the whale's body. If the gases are not released, they can cause the whale's body to expand and eventually rupture, resulting in a sudden explosion. This phenomenon can occur on land or at sea, and can be particularly dangerous if the whale is found on a beach or in a populated area. The explosion can release a foul odor and cause a mess of whale remains, which can be difficult to clean up. Additionally, the explosion can pose a health hazard as the gases produced during decomposition can be toxic. The decomposition process of a whale is a complex one, and the whale's gut microorganisms play an important role in it. Some species of whale have more gas-producing bacteria in their gut than others, which can increase the amount of gases produced during decomposition. Factors such as the size of the whale, the environment it's in, and how long it's been dead can also play a role in the buildup of gases. Dr. Olaf Meinecke of Griffith University's Coastal and Marine Research Center told The Guardian that the gases can be trapped if the outside of a whale's body is still intact. It can lead to an explosion if the rest of the body is still intact, if the outer layer, the blubber, is still intact and not broken up, he said. However, according to National Geographic, dead whales do not appear out of nowhere it is usually the result of something external. The efforts made to move the body before something bad happens can cause things to move around inside the body, resulting in an explosion. People who want to take souvenirs or climb the whale's body, on the other hand, can cause major problems, such as tears in the whale's outer blubber. What happens when a whale explodes on land? Being directly next to or even close to a whale when it explodes can be dangerous. The pressure can propel a whale's internal organs and other body parts into the air. This type of impact has the potential to cause a wide range of damage. A whale exploded onto a street in Tainan, Taiwan, according to The Guardian in 2004. This not only halted traffic in the area, but whale parts of various kinds fell from the sky for hours afterwards. This incident is made all the more tragic by the fact that the whale was being transported to a university for examination at the time. This meant that the whale's body could no longer be studied and that potential knowledge had been lost. Is it harmful to touch the dead body of a whale? Touching a dead whale's body can be potentially harmful, as the decomposition process can release harmful bacteria and viruses. In addition, decomposing tissue and bodily fluids can contain harmful pathogens that can cause serious infections. The explosion of the whale can also cause the release of toxic gases and chemicals, which can be harmful if inhaled. It is also important to note that in many places, it is illegal to touch or disturb marine mammal carcasses without proper permission, and it is against the law and cultural taboos to touch the dead body of certain species of whales in certain places. 
Therefore, it is best to avoid touching a dead whale's body and to leave the handling of a deceased whale to trained professionals who have the proper equipment and knowledge to safely and respectfully handle the remains. How does the explosion of a dead whale harm human beings? Explosions of dead whales can harm human beings in a number of ways. The explosion can release a foul odor and cause a mess of whale remains, which can be difficult to clean up and may cause health hazards. The explosion can also release toxic gases and chemicals, which can be harmful if inhaled. These gases can cause irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat, and in high concentrations can even lead to headaches, nausea, and other health issues. Touching or inhaling the decomposing tissue and bodily fluids can contain harmful pathogens that can cause serious infections. Furthermore, handling a dead whale can also pose a health risk for people who are not trained and equipped to handle the remains. The explosion of a whale on a beach or in a populated area can be dangerous and cause injury to those nearby. So, the explosion of a dead whale can pose a health hazard to human beings through the release of harmful gases and chemicals, potential exposure to pathogens, and the potential injury to people nearby the explosion. So, what steps can a person take when they come across a dead whale? If a person comes across a dead whale, they should not approach or touch the whale's body and should instead contact the appropriate authorities. Here are a few steps a person can take when they come across a dead whale. Number 1. Do not touch the whale. As mentioned earlier, touching a dead whale's body can be potentially harmful as the decomposition process can release harmful bacteria and viruses. Number 2. Keep a safe distance. Keep a safe distance from the whale as the explosion can cause injury to those nearby. Number 3. Report the sighting. Contact the appropriate authorities such as the local marine mammal stranding network, Coast Guard, or other relevant organizations depending on your location. These organizations have trained professionals who can safely handle the remains and will be able to provide more information about the situation. And finally, number four, observe and document. If it is safe to do so, take note of the whale's location, the species, any visible injuries or abnormalities, and the state of decomposition. This information can be useful for researchers studying the cause of death. So that's the end of the video. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and press the notification bell so you never miss out on our next videos. Until the next video, take care.